Okay, the first step is to go to your Wii system settings. You just click Wii, and then Wii settings. Then you just go over to the internet section. This is a Wii using Wii 4.3U, by the way. And then you just click internet, then console information. Then you write down this MAC address. And then you just go to this website. There'll be a link in the description. Okay, you're gonna need to download two files. One's called Letter Bomb. You choose where you're from, U for United States, E for Europe, J for Japan, and K for Korea. Enter the MAC address you just got from your Wii. Make sure this is a check, enter in the caption, and then cut the red wire. It will give you a zip file called Letter Bomb. You extract that file. Then go over to the Homebrew browser. The, the link will be in the description. You click links and then download. Now, once you're downloading and extracting those files, you go to your the Ruby SD card. If there's a folder called private, rename it to private old, then drag the private folder over to the Ruby SD card. I already did that. Okay, so now you go over to the Homebrew browser and drag it into your apps folder. If you don't already have one, make one. And you see, that'll be there. Now just go over and put the SD card in your Wii. Okay, you insert the SD card into your Wii. Um, now it's just inserted. You see by the SD card menu. You go to your messages. Go to the previous day and there'll be a red letter. You open that up. Now it's installing the Homebrew channel onto your Wii. This has been sped up. Okay, you click one and then you just go up to install the Homebrew channel. And it's installing it. Continue and then go down to exit. Now we're at the Homebrew channel and because you installed the Homebrew browser before, it's already there. If you see that, that way you know it's working. And this will help you install some Homebrew applications. Let me just speed this part up. Okay, it's downloading the database and launching the Homebrew browser. And now it has launched. That was sped up, by the way, a lot. Okay, so now you just want to install some stuff. Um, there's media, games, emulators, demos, and utilities. So I'm just going to download a couple random things. Like, I'm just browsing through it. Click up and down or hold B to scroll up and down, like um, on the Wii browser, I think it is. Um, there's the utilities tab. It takes a little bit for the images to load. Sometimes there aren't any. But yeah, see, so, yeah, this is just an example of the stuff that's available. So I'm going to download the NES emulator. Let me speed this up. Actually, I didn't speed it up. I just didn't record that part. So I'll only return the loader. And as you can see, FCE Ultra has been installed. And there's no USB device. Because I actually had settings on here. And I don't think I had anything on here, so you're not going to see anything. Yeah, I didn't have anything. But that's just how to install this. Thanks for watching. Um, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And here's one more thing on how to uninstall a homebrew channel if you want to update. Just go to Wii Settings, Data Management, and then Wii Channels. You go to the homebrew channel, and then just delete it, and it'll delete it off your system so you can safely update. So, this is Dan Tendo Inc. signing off.